Hi, welcome Hi. to you, Beautiful Creation. I'm Tina Jackson, and we with me today I have Steve and Denai Sanders from G220 Effect. Hello, Steve and Denai. Hi, <laughs> Hi. how are you? Yes, uh, very good. And hopefully we got some people that are live on uh, YouTube and live on our Facebook channel. Please type in that you are with us today. We are going to be talking today about what is the Holy Spirit telling you? And we would love to hear what he's telling you. And um, my cat in the background is trying to say some things. <laughs> He's telling me a lot. <laughs> so um, we would like to hear what you're saying. Holy Spirit with the cat, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was crying out loud. She's like, listen, I know what the Holy Spirit's saying. Jesus is yeah. coming soon. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Butterfly Smiles. Hello from East Tennessee. Great that you are logged in. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes, yes. So yes, we are excited about what the Holy Spirit is saying. And for those of you that are um, new to this channel and our broadcast, the first thing we do, I just want to give a little little lowdown that we have uh, two segments to our program because this is uh, also going to be aired on three public access stations here in Michigan, as well as YouTube. So at the 30 minute mark about there, we'll take a little 12 second intermission. But those of you live on YouTube and Facebook, you stick around. So very good. So anyways, we want to start off with, um, I wanted to start off with scripture, John 14, 26, before we really get into it. And I know Stephen Deny, you wanted to talk about what the Holy Spirit is saying to you as well. But if we could pull up John 14, uh, 26 amplified, I always like to get some of that scripture in here. And my moderator here, <laughs> I thought he was on a quick break there. Um, so it says here, but the comforter, counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf. This is Jesus speaking. He will teach you all things and he will cause you to recall, will remind you of and bring to your remembrance everything I've told you. Isn't that wonderful that the Holy Spirit is our teacher, our counselor, our helper, our advocate, our strengthener, our standby. He is our all in all. And that is a fantastic thing. If you don't have the Holy Spirit active in your life, I encourage you. This is the time that you can get that activated even today, just by simply asking, Holy Spirit, come into my heart, come into my life, get activated in me. So that way um, you could be connected with the Father. You know, that's what Jesus did. He gave us that opportunity to be reconnected to God. And that's through the Holy Spirit and through Jesus. Amen. Amen. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So Stephen, and I, I know that you had some things you want to share and I want to turn that over to you too. So go ahead. I'm just curious to whoever's watching, if, if there are some who are watching right now, how comf well, how um, confident are you that you have a relationship with Christ through the Holy Spirit? Yeah. On a scale of like one to five. Okay. Five being you're so comfortable with the Holy Spirit. You know that he dwells in you. You, you speak with the Holy Spirit. You pray in the spirit. You are so confident. And one being, yeah, I know about the Holy Spirit, but not so much. I'm just curious. So if you can put in five, if you're very comfortable with the Holy Spirit and, and rate it all the way to down to one, if you're not that comfortable with the Holy Spirit, as we talk, that will also help us to kind of like uh, add some things in there that could help you to be more comfortable with the Holy Spirit. Five plus. Yeah, oh, wow. I love it. <laughs> that is awesome. awesome. Well, yes. praise God. Awesome. That is awesome. But it is so wonderful that we have that comfort of the Holy Spirit. He is so awesome. He is, he is, 
a, a, a pres he's so present and i think that we always like to take the mystery out of the holy spirit and, and or some people say the holy ghost and then it sounds like it's something that's so mystical yet it's not just like you read tina in the scriptures it says right there that i'm gonna leave but i'm not gonna leave you behind without a comforter you're gonna have the comforter who's the holy spirit and he's gonna and later on as we read in scripture we'll know where he is he's gonna be within you within all of us so he's within us mm -hmm. and he's constantly he's the one that's speaking to mm -hmm. us helping us that's guiding us. i guess we'll just go to my scripture that i have for today <laughs> because i'm saying all the things so go john ahead. 16 john 16 oh we have a three to four and it says that i do have a relationship but i doubt quite a bit if what i'm hearing is him talking or me talking to myself mm. so we'll definitely keep that in mind so we can continue to shed light on that because yes, his voice sounds so much sometimes like us. So it's good to have that distinction. Um, and, but I'm just going to go ahead and read John 16 verse 13. So verse th uh, 13 says, <clears throat> Oh, let me get it in my Bible. Okay. How be when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself, but whosoever he shall hear he, that, that shall he speak and he will shew you things to come. So this is talking about the Holy Spirit. He's the one that's going to come and he's going to speak and he's going to show you things to come. So guess what? In those moments where you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know which de what decision to make. I don't know which way to go. I don't know what to do. He's there and he knows what's to come. So who better to give you counsel than the one that knows all things to come? And, and you know what's the good thing about it is like when you have like certain situations in your life, certain things that happen in your life and you're always wondering, oh man, did I do this right? Did I, did I do this wrong? Did I, did I do this? And I got a certain scenario that, you know, that really helped me really, really, really see that the Holy Spirit was with me at this point in time. And I had an incident with a coworker a couple of years ago. And in this incident, this the, the co-worker was very disrespectful and all these different things that, that happened in the situation. And I walked away. And in, in this very instance, I'm fasting, right? And it's so amazing how the Holy Spirit diagrammed it for me. I was fasting at this point in time too. And I got upset in the situation. And I was wondering like, man, Lord, I, I, I was starting to condemn myself as the word says, he will never condemn us, right? You know, and so I started saying, why, why did I get upset? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? And everything. And, and he said, you know, these things come out through prayer and fasting, right? And I'm like, ooh, wow. Wow, Lord. So he's only bringing something to your remembrance and some truth to light in the area where things are happening. And so I was like, well, so was I angry? And I had to remind myself uh, that I, I had just had a conversation with my sibling. And the conversation really stuck to me. Because it was a conversation to help and the helping need and stuff like that and helping someone see. And, and, I, and I was like, man, it stuck to me for a while. And I was wondering, and I let it sit there. And the Holy Spirit really diagraphed and it said, wow, this is the issue that you had. The issue, mm -hmm. on the reason why you responded this way. And these things come out through prayer and fasting. So while you were fasting, this is what came out. So it can be replenished with something new, something good, something that he gives, truth, right? And so a lot of times when we are in error, it's not saying that God doesn't love us. It's not saying that the Holy Spirit is not speaking to us. What it's saying is the Holy Spirit is shining light on mm -hmm. things and areas that we need help with and areas that we need to see the truth about. And so I could have went a thousand ways with the situation. I could have said, oh, man, I was right. And that would have been my pride, right? Or I could have said, oh, oh, I was wrong. And I could have condemned myself. But I just listened to the Holy Spirit when he said, see, see what's going on. See how I'm helping you. You have to see these things this way in order mm -hmm. to grow, in order for you to get better. And I was like, wow, wow. So this is what they came out of me if I wasn't listening to you, first of all, if I wasn't fasting first. But if I wasn't listening to you, I wouldn't even be able to diagram or, uh, or find out, diagnose what was going on. And so he showed me my heart and showed me where I needed him to help me the truth to actually, so I can see what's, what's the real truth and not Steve, Steve's truth, you know? And so it helped. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's wonderful.
because it kind of leads up to the what somebody asked here about you know it sounds the holy spirit sounds more like me <laughs> yeah and and I, and I think one of the best ways to know the difference between your voice and the voice of the Holy Spirit is that because if he's dwelling in you, then that means he's dwelling within a body that's you. So yeah. it will sound like you. It will sound a lot like you. But what is what is what is being produced by that sound? What is being said through what he's saying is what's going to make a difference. Right. So we know who God is. So we spend time in the word. Guess what? We know him and we right. know and discern we discern his voice remember jesus told us he yeah. said my sheep they know my voice the voice of a stranger they won't follow they won't follow after a stranger because they they learn to discern because they are so close to me right a shepherd is is close yeah. to the sheep and so when you're close to him you hear him you start to understand what he's saying how he speaks what is truth and the holy spirit is there and he's like okay this is truth this is not truth and you will have that feeling of doubt sometimes like that doesn't sound Sound right. Let me look for it in the word. Let me confirm it through the word if that's right. So I, I hope that's somewhat helpful, but it the, his voice does sound a lot like yours because he is within you. <laughs> yes. But we'll be able to know him as you spend more time with him. You will know it's more of him and less of you. And you yeah. actually get to a place. I used to always use the reference that my flesh is screaming. I, I have a friend that we always laugh about this. I'll tell her my flesh is screaming because I can literally sense that this is my flesh. This is me. And it's not the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. I want what I want. I want the result. Mm -hmm. I want this. And the Lord is like, no, I'm not rushing you. <laughs> I'm not rushing. I'm not pushing. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm allowing peace so you yeah, can hear yeah. me and follow me. Amen. Amen. That's great. Yeah. Always making sure, obviously it lines up with the word of God, you know, yeah. uh, it has to, has to line up. Amen. Amen, Ashley. And, yes. And, and uh, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say something. And, and imagine this, remember he's the spirit of truth. So he's going to give us the truth when we need correction. When we need to be reproved on something when we need an answer, when we need, uh, uh, when we have questions and all those things, he's going to be that for us. And I, I say reproof because when, when we need the scriptures say reproof, and I'm I'm not sure where to locate it, but it says reproof where he's to, trying to help us prove what is right and try to see what's right. And so that is always awesome, you know, that we have the Holy Spirit to do that. Amen and amen. And for those of you that are just now joining the broadcast, the question that we presented was, what is the Holy Spirit telling you? And we would love to hear from you and to share with us, uh, what is the Holy Spirit telling you? I know definitely right now, I know he's telling, you know, a lot of people, hey, I need you to draw closer to me. This needs to be a fine line of a walk right now so that uh, you can, um, you know, he always wants to tell his secrets to his friends yeah. and his children. He doesn't want to keep anything from you. So that way you could be prepared, that you know things, um, you know, right now, I, you know, I was just in a lot of prayer lately and the Lord just really strong on, please make sure that you tell your loved ones, which I still have yet to do. Um, uh, well, I told a couple, but don't text and drive. I mean, I know it's the law in Michigan, but people still have a tendency of doing that, but it felt like it was a higher, like prompting, like there is an urgency to not be distracted on texting and driving right now. And especially if your phone starts blowing up and just, you know, all of a sudden, ding, 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 ding. Don't be tempted by that. There needs to be a, a true focus. And, you know, that is obviously something that, you know, the Holy Spirit is telling because it brings safety and protection. It lines up with the word of God of, you know, yeah, obey the law, you know, but also a, a nice little reminder of, you know, there's something coming that's going to try very hard to distract you and it, and it may lead to something bad, you know, so be on alert, you know, and uh, yeah, so little things like that. I love how the Holy Spirit always tries to prepare things or, you know, just that little extra, you know, driving into work and he's like, you know, get off at this exit today, you know, and it's just like, okay, you know, <laughs> and you may never know why you had to get off at that exit, but it was to avoid obviously an accident or something else that was going to happen. But that's the good, the beauty of it, you know, um, cause you avoided the accident, you know? So yeah. it's those little things of, as long as it lines up with the word of God, 
you know, in what you're doing. Um, you know, it's a good thing to, to run with the, what you're, you're sensing, maybe the Holy Spirit speaking until you really get to know him. I, I, I noticed that God, the father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are all three different yet. They're, they're one. And I can tell the difference most of the time who's talking to me. So in a, a lot of times it has to do with the pronouns. Um, you know, I went through this betrayal, you know, this kind of betrayal or Jesus went through this betrayal. So I sort of kind of can discern between the difference of well, who's who, because like you said, it sounds a lot like yourself because you become one father, son, Holy spirit. I think it talks about it in John anywhere between chapter 14 and 16. I'm in the father, the father is in me and we are one. And my heart is that you become one with us. Yes. Because we are to join together in that unity of faith and become one. So amen. So yes, it'll sound a lot like yourself. <laughs> yes. I love that. I mean, just, just these words that we're talking about in this, just this fellowship in the Holy Spirit blesses my heart so much. And this is why it's such a passion of ours, even when we talk to people and teach people, do you know the Holy Spirit? Spirit, you know, you do you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit? Are you comfortable? Just like we asked him, we got a five plus, we got a three and four, which is awesome. We might have a five now with Ashley because she said that it was very helpful. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yes. yeah but, earlier there was uh, what was the question? Because I know that the butterfly smile said five plus. What was the, the question so, that you asked the question again? Was how comfortable are you with the Holy yeah. Spirit? Five is very comfortable. I spent I spend time with the Holy Spirit. I am praying in the spirit. I'm singing in the spirit. I'm, you know, in and, and butterfly smile said five plus. So that that's always awesome. And Ashley said three and four. But it's so good to just fellowship with the Holy Spirit because he is the spirit of truth. And that's the point I think that really blesses me. Imagine yeah. that um there's so much in this world that's full it's I mean this world is full of lies because the father of it is lies, right? So there's so many lies lies um, that are in this world and that uh, we are so accustomed to and we just think oh we just do it just to do you know but the, the Holy Spirit will ask you questions and and he always does ask you a question well why do you do that well why do you celebrate that holiday or why do you eat that or why do you uh, uh, talk like that you know and you have to ponder on that because he's trying to reveal to you truth and we have that to our access. He lives within us. Even when we're sleeping, he's speaking and he's telling us truth. That's, I mean, it blesses me so much. And, and imagine, I like what she said in the beginning that he, he, it's the lies that he tells, right? And that's what we, we live in a world full of lies. But we call this deception, right? And with mm -hmm. deception, there is a little bit of truth and there's a lie. So I can give you a whole line, which is truth until I get to the last part of that line, which will be the lie which makes the whole line corrupt, right? And so this is what we deal with when we're dealing with the enemy, right? When we're dealing with, you know, the, the opposite of what the Holy Spirit is telling us, right? Here is on the other side, the enemy, he gives us all this truth, but then he ends it off with this little lie. But guess what? You hurt so much in the beginning that you missed the last piece. And so you missed the whole part of the deception. You missed the lie. So you, you're thinking this lie is truth. And that's a lot of stuff that goes on in a nutshell that we walk in this world and we're like, yeah, this is how it's supposed to be. But really, that's not how it's supposed to be. That's not how it's supposed to be. The truth is what God gives us through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, as we know, he gives us the truth of the matter, even when it hurts to hear it. Man, even when it hurts to hear it, the truth. You know, what, what is he saying to me today? He said, oh, stop eating after eight. <laughs> and you're like, you're like, what? what? I mean, it's, I like the stuff I eat at the eight. I bought it and I like it, you know? And he's like, snack well, time. Snack, right, snack time. <laughs> and so he's like, stop eating after eight. Oh, I don't like that. But guess what? He knows exactly what's going to happen to you. You're going to get sleepy. You're going to fall asleep. And you're going <laughs> to wake up sluggish the next day because of what you ate after eight. But mm -hmm. these are the small things of what what is the Holy Spirit telling us, you know? And it might be something catered to this, any, every, any situation that we have in our life. But we have to have ears to hear what the word says. You have to have ears to hear, right? And first of all, to get to know the Holy Spirit, he said, you have to ask, seek, and knock, and then you shall find, right? And mm -hmm. so, and then when you ask, seek, and knock, 
you actually find the Holy Spirit right where he may be found and he'll be able to help you diagnose the issues that you have, who you are, where you're going, what's next, what's new, <laughs> what's happening, and what's going on. I'm saying all the same stuff, right? <laughs> and then you get to actually see what's the truth in the matter. Amen. Amen. That's so good. Yeah, I, 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 I live for the Holy Spirit to lead, guide, direct my steps all the time. As you've heard so many of my testimonies and the vlogs that I have posted on this YouTube channel, um, he is my all in all. Um, I, I am eager to see what's going to happen in the days ahead. There has been, um, you know, just so much talk about all the different um, things that are happening in the atmosphere and stuff. But you know what? Stay close to God. Read the um, read a proverb every day. You know, read the Psalms every day if you can. Get a devotional, and God will give you that peace that passes all understanding. And and like you know, Denai and Steve had said, I love how you guys said, you know, those times that He gives that correction. You know, where it's like, okay, you need to forgive this person. Or, you know, go bless this other person that, you know, that didn't treat you so good. And you're like, really? Like, <laughs> they are just being mean to me <laughs> or being very rude to me. And he's like, go bless them, bless your enemies. And um, it was it was actually a, quite a comical thing in our household. And it was just like, oh, should I be mean to you, Tina? So that way I can uh, get blessed. <laughs> And it's like, uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. So it was pretty funny. Yeah. But, uh, I wanted to also say that it's it's um, awesome that what you just said, that be one of the things that we know the Holy Spirit has been telling us and talking to us yeah. about. Uh, we hear so much, but <laughs> just to kind of uh, narrow it down, it's ta talking about relationship. We yeah. always talk about relationship. I mean, that's what our ministry is all about, is helping people get closer to Christ, right? And one of the things that we know the Holy Spirit has been really dealing with us is to help people to get out of tradition yeah. uh, and, and challenge people in the traditions of this world and the things, that, in the rudiments of the world and things that are causing people to be in a slumber to 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 be so relaxed because you know mm -hmm. I go to church every Sunday and I show up so I'm good when God comes I'm gonna be ready you know when Jesus cracks that sky open as we always like to say <laughs> I'm gonna be ready and and that's not necessarily true because you he's gonna deny some people because he never knew you depart from me you that work iniquity and so you need to have a relationship and and, and it's crazy because I always say so many people have relationships with their pastor but not necessarily a relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. you know, the pastor falls off a cliff and he you know, falls off the ledge and start going opposite. You're like, oh, it, it tears you down. And you're like, oh, well, I guess my, my, my Christianity walk is over. But guess what? That's the place where we, we talk about that. This is just the man, just like all of us, or a woman, just like all of us, right? And so the relationship, this is why we're so relation, relational. And the one thing that God has been telling us over and over again through our ministry, which is a relationship, establish a relationship with him, not, mm -hmm. the, pastor, not the elder, not the minister, mm -hmm. not the prophet, not just a relationship mm -hmm. with him mm -hmm. so that you can mm -hmm. know the truth, yeah. not someone giving you their truth. Because guess what? Pastor John, he, mm -hmm. he had a rough week. And so he's going to give you his truth for the week. Yeah. And that's and that's why this, the, the scriptures say that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. He's yes. going to teach you what you need to know because yes. the Bible warns us there will be many false prophets that are going to go out there, false teachers, sorry. There are going to be many false teachers that are going to go out there and they're going to be teaching things that are not true. Uh, and, but your faith is in the wrong thing. Have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm into what he's saying in the day-to-day -day things like we said if he's telling you not to snack after eight no snack time <laughs> you know <laughs> if he's telling you forgive someone forgive someone yeah. and continue to 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 hear his mm -hmm. voice and learn of him and hear him so you you know who he is and you you can mm -hmm. now know when a counterfeit comes in play oh no mm -hmm. that's I know the truth. The Holy Spirit is giving me yeah. an unction in my spirit that something's not right about that. And I might not have the full answer right now, but I'm going to go and, and continue to pray and continue to search in the word until I feel what, what, 
what is true comes to, to light. So this is why it's so important that we, we have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and an everyday, day by day relationship where you are learning to hear mm -hmm. him. Like you said, Tina, he guides you in everyday things. You are mm -hmm. asking him to help you, to direct mm -hmm. you, to guide you in all mm -hmm. things, even putting right. your down when you're driving. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I would like to, um, even this morning, this is what I really just sense the Lord say, saying this morning. And, and this is something I, I print out if I sense the Lord saying something. I just heard him. This is what I feel like the Lord has saying, and it seems to be lining up with scripture. So I'm going to say it's, you know, it's something the Holy Spirit saying. It says, indeed, there are many changes across that are going to happen, but not as you think. Most people focus on the doom and the gloom, but this will be a greater hour of revival and outpouring. All of my hands are all hands need to be on deck. Those who have mocked you and made fun of you for your religion and your God will suddenly want to know more. As the airwaves begin to change and the darkness is lifted, my voice will clearly be heard by all. Not all will heed, but many will repent and then turn hearts, their hearts towards me and my ways. Encourage people to have a fire pit party <laughs> to burn the demonic videos, games, books, clothes, etc. And do not give it, don't do not give it away. Burn it as onto an altar. Um, and then it said, um, deactivate and purge apps from phones and computers and devices. Uh, many people, uh, many mamas and papas will be filled with great joy as their prodigals come home with a truly repentant heart. The former and the latter reigns coming together. Amen. And so that is like one of the things that I feel like the Holy Spirit is telling me to tell people is to be encouraged that he is changing and rearranging things and there's hope and that those people that you've been praying for, I really feel are going to truly have that encounter with God. So don't stop praying. Do not stop believing for these people because God is, is working mightily behind the scenes. Amen. And we are almost out of time. <laughs> so, but anyways, I am just um, so excited. Um, again, we are going to be taking a break for our first half of the um, public access station and for those of you that are live on YouTube and Facebook, please write in your questions or write in what God is speaking to you, what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. We'd love to talk about that today. For those of you that are on the public access station, this is part one of a two-part segment. You are welcome to go to the YouTube channel to check out uh, uh, part two ahead of station ahead of time before it comes on your public access stations um, or look at the whole Full broadcast on the live section of the YouTube channel. And Stephen Denai, I just want to, um, uh, this is Stephen Denai Sanders, and they're with the G220 Effect. And um, we are going to wrap up today's session, but we will definitely be back in just a moment. By the way, there's their little thing, g220effect.com, right? <laughs> and they have Bible studies and other things um, that you can partake in as well. Well, this will conclude today's episode of You Beautiful Creation. For those of you live, stick around, and we will catch you back on the next segment in very soon And as I get my banners going. And just don't forget that you are a beautiful creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining us.